ring is an arts programme which is inspired by the 21 miles of the Midwestshire Canal Ring. During the next two years, there will be a whole range of arts initiatives from public art placements to looking at the history of the ring itself. The ring was developed in order to raise awareness to the Druitwich Worcester Canal uh, circuit uh, by using artworks placed uh, around the ring to, to draw people in. Uh, it's also used to raise awareness for the region's um, arts projects uh, with different artists looking at different aspects of the history and the uses of the canal. The ring was developed but because Worcestershire wouldn't be Worcestershire without its river and, rivers and canals and also the rivers and canals wouldn't be what they are without the people of Worcestershire working towards protecting, caring and restoring what they are. I'm looking forward to this ring project because it means that we're getting more people out to see these canals, to walk this wonderful route where you can actually see the history of the canal area but it's important that we bring it alive for people, that it's not just something to be viewed as if you were going into a museum. This is a, this is a working monument. I think what's special uh, about the project is the way that it brings different artists together through a kind of geographical loop, um, which enables artists who are local and artists who are from different parts of the country to have conversations about what they're producing, as well as working with audiences and engaging local communities. It's going to bring a whole range of international and local artists across Worcester and Joy Ridge, but also we're going to hope to engage with a whole range of participants as well, members of the public, children, young people, older people, and really get a whole buzz and excitement across this area of Worcester and Joy Ridge. We're hoping it's going to have real economic development for Worcester and Joy Ridge, but also to have really raised the game of the arts across those two areas and across the county as a whole. And it's thanks to the volunteers that we've got so many canals now. And what I like and what is interesting about the ring is it tells the whole story of the canal era. These are structures that were built going right back to the 1760s, but they're still in operation today. We want people to be able to look at them, enjoy them, and understand how they worked and how they're still being used. And that's, that's important. We've got terrific scenery around these canals. It's something that everybody can enjoy, whether you're on the towpath or whether you're on a boat or whether you're cycling or jogging. And it's very much about getting people out to see what we've got. Uh, my, my involvement with the project uh, is as a sculptor, and in particular, I'm a location-specific sculptor. As I work through the process of researching, finding things out, uh, I use that research in order to decide how things are made. So, for instance, here we've got the, the lock gates that used to be made in the workshop here. So my plan is to use the workshop as my workshop. Uh, and as people used to do uh, 100 years ago here, there will be activity and production happening on the island. I'm really excited about the potential of how the artworks on the ring are going to bring people who normally don't explore canals and rivers to, to this area, so they're going to be drawing in new and unexpected um, fans and people, so people who follow music or literature or art that normally go to galleries, normally go to museums, normally go to nightclubs, normally go to festivals, are going to be walking down remote stretches of canals and busy industrial places on the ring and exploring art in a completely new context and a completely new way to what they've done before. And in addition, people who love to walk, cycle and boat are going to be coming here and ex experiencing art in a way they've never experienced before. So I'm looking forward to seeing thousands of people coming here in 2018 and enjoying and interacting with real extraordinary and beautiful and unusual artwork. So um, I've been commissioned to make a new public artwork for Droitwich um, and the location is um, around the Vines Park area, Netherwich Canal Basin, that whole area there that I've been exploring um, with the help of some local experts. Um, and uh, my interest in salt started off um, when I found out about 10 years ago that my great grandfather was a salt trader and from then on I've been making artworks around the world. Um, which are all about the history of salt and salt in its different stories of trade and migration. So I'm really excited about working here in Droitwich and, um, and finding out more and more about salt in Droitwich. A number of ways that the public can get involved with, with the ring. We're running a series of workshops, talks, live events where people can come along and take part, get involved, hands-on, 
enjoying or experiencing. There will be a number of ways that people can take part. On the website there will be information about opportunities for artists to get involved, how people can join in with some of the projects and how you can find out more about the events. So get involved, you can find out more about us on our website but also engage with us through Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We look forward to seeing you.